I'm here with Coach Zach today at the Critical Bench Compound. And in this video, we're gonna give you the top three dumbbell exercises to blow up every single part of your back. Yes, we're gonna teach you how to train your upper back, your mid back, your erectors, and also get those lats incorporated. And why we wanted to shoot this, because both of us in the combined 40-ish years that we've been coaching and training, we see a lot of people struggling to develop their back. And I have a theory that it's because oftentimes we can't see it, so a lot of us miss out or don't develop that mind-to-muscle connection. So we're gonna walk you through the top three exercises using dumbbells only. Zach is gonna be performing the exercises and I'm gonna be giving you guys some cues here so that you can get your mind into those muscles, so you can train them properly, you can develop more muscle tissue, blow your back up to so have a well-balanced, aesthetic-looking physique. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so the first movement that we're gonna be doing here is going to be a lying dumbbell pullover. And a lot of people will do pullovers for their back, and there's also a way you can utilize them to train your chest. In this demonstration, we're gonna be doing back only. So Zach's got his dumbbell here. He's using a 60-pound weight, which is a good solid weight for him. Make sure that you test this out and you master the exercise before you really try to dive into maximizing the weight. So Zach is laid down here. He's got his feet planted securely on the ground. Touching the uh, bench with his upper back and also touch point here down at his glutes. He's got a little bit of arch in his, in his mid back, lower back here. And he's gonna start by lowering the weight down, really getting the stretch in these lats. This is really where that tension is gonna start to be created. And then as he's coming up to the top, he's gonna pull from his lats, keeping his biceps, keeping his triceps, keeping his arms out of the movement as, as much as possible. He's gonna go back down. And as you see, Zach is not gonna go all the way up. Like, because when you go all the way here, now you're getting your chest involved. So he's gonna stop here, right above his upper chest. Once again, slow and controlled down. The key with this one is you control the eccentric in somewhat of an explosive concentric. This is not an explosive movement, so don't try to do it in speed. I'd say about a two to three second eccentric with a one to two second concentric on the way up. As you can see, his breathing is in on the way down, filling his lungs up with air, blowing it out as he's coming up here to the top. Guys, eight to 10 reps, really working those lats through their entire range of motion, really gonna blow that up. And in my opinion, if you're doing these exercises together, this is the one that you're gonna wanna start with because you're gonna get full activation, get the blood flowing into those lats, it's gonna set you up to get the most out of the next two exercises we're gonna jump right into right now. Awesome, so now that we got our lats fully activated and we got some blood flowing through that entire back. Now we're gonna get into training the mid back here. So Zach's gonna turn around, we're gonna focus on the spinal erectors, really the, the muscles that are gonna support the spine. Really make sure that you're standing up tall and secure is also gonna help brace your core as well. So Zach's gonna grab his dumbbells, we're gonna do a two, two handed dumbbell row. So first he's gonna start by having his feet placed securely on the ground, a good bend in his knees and then a bending at the hip. You bend at the hip by driving your glutes back. Don't round your back forward, drive those glutes back so you can keep a neutral spine here. And then he's gonna row, keeping his elbows close to his body, squeezing that middle of his back. Almost thinking about bringing the weight to his hips or to his pocketbook right here, right? So keeping that spine locked in place, strong core the entire time, squeezing these all the way back as possible. Now, if he wanted to get a little bit of the lats in, involved in this movement, when he comes up here to the top, he can think about almost pinching his elbows behind him. This is gonna fully contract those, those lats, but really what we wanna get moving here is gonna be that mid back. Same thing, control it on the way down, a little bit more explosive, squeezing at the top. Once again, guys, these are muscle building movements that we're talking about in this video. So you want things slow, you want things controlled, and you want the muscles moving the weight, not all your momentum. So second exercise here, bent over row, really focus on the middle part of the back there. We just hit the mid back, and now we're gonna train the upper back here as well. So what Zach is gonna be doing, is gonna go chest down here onto this incline bench. Get it at a good 45 to 55 degree angle. You don't wanna go too high up here. That's not gonna allow you to really get it uh, where you wanna train it. And that's gonna be too much of a, of a low angle where he's probably gonna end up hitting the ground. So about a 45 degree angle is where he's gonna wanna be. He's gonna put his upper chest into the pad. Really make sure he's driving that down. Focus now, a big key here is utilize this chest support, right? It's there for a reason. So as you're rolling up, I'll see a lot of people begin to come off of the pad. The better that you can get at creating force in the opposite direction, there's a concept known as force counterforce. So as you drive forward, you're actually able to create a deeper or more force through the back by driving your chest into the pad. So Zach is gonna row, elbows 
out. And the key that we want to be thinking about here, and this is really across the board with everything you do in your back, the angle at which your upper arm moves is going to give you a clear representation of the part of your back that's trained. So as Zach is rowing with his elbows out, clearly see all these muscles here in his upper back are getting turned on. Whereas when he was rowing for the lats or for the mid back, he was much more closer to his upper body. So the angle of your elbow, the angle of your arm is really gonna dictate which part of your back is moving. So he's driving his chest into the pad, squeezing at the top, really blowing up those rear delts, those terrace majors, getting a little bit of the, a lot of the traps involved in this movement as well. So there you have it guys. The best three exercises using dumbbells only. Now if I was programming this into my weekly routine, whether I'm doing back and chest, I would do these three exercises and then I would do my chest workout or maybe I'm doing a full upper body and this is only the back specific portion. But model the program in the way that we did it here. Start with the lat pull downs or lat pull over first, go to your bent over and then finish with the chest supported. But it can be done on a back day all by itself, very quick 15, 20 minute workout. You can pair this with upper body, chest, arm, shoulders. But in my opinion, doing it in these program the way that we gave you here today is going to be the best way to get the most out of every single one of these exercises. So Coach Frank, Coach Zach at the Compound, we love you guys. We'll see you in the next one.